President Trump filled a key position on his national security team today. He chose Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster as his new national security advisor. He replaces retired General Michael Flynn, whom Trump fired one week ago tonight, for misleading the vice president about contacts he'd had with Russia's ambassador to the U.S. Margaret Brennan's at the White House, where the president returned this evening from Florida. He's a man of tremendous talent and tremendous experience. President Trump introduced Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster as his new national security advisor after spending the weekend at his Mar-a-Lago estate interviewing candidates. The 54-year-old career Army officer is known as one of the most successful battlefield commanders in Iraq. I'd just like to say what a privilege it is to be able to continue serving our nation. As an active duty general, McMaster still serves his commander in chief and is less able to make staffing demands. Just last week, retired Vice Admiral Robert Harward turned down the position after a dispute over selecting deputies. But McMaster is outspoken. His book, Dereliction of Duty, criticizes Vietnam era officers who failed to challenge President Johnson and he critiqued President George W. Bush during the Iraq War. McMaster spoke to CBS News in 2010. Try not to, to define future conflict as you would like it to be, because if you do, you're just about guaranteed that it will be nothing like that. McMaster replaces Mike Flynn, who was forced out after withholding information from Vice President Mike Pence about his contacts with the Russian ambassador to the U.S. Today in Brussels, Pence said he supported the president's decision to fire Flynn. I, I was uh, disappointed to learn that uh, this, the, um, the facts that had been conveyed to me by General Flynn uh, were inaccurate. Pence's trip was meant to reassure European allies that the Trump administration will support NATO and counter Russian aggression. Nerves were rattled again on Saturday after Mr. Trump referenced an incident in Sweden that he linked Germany, to refugees. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. But there was no incident related to refugees in Sweden, leaving its prime minister befuddled. I was, like many others, I believe, surprised by the, by the comments made by the, by, about Sweden this weekend. After the Swedish government requested an explanation, President Trump clarified that he was talking about a Fox News report, not U.S. intelligence. And Anthony, the Swedish government replied it looks forward to briefing him on their own immigration standards. Margaret Brennan, thanks, Margaret.